70s, Joseph. We're a little few minutes after 11 o'clock. Yeah, still in the 70s. Hot day. Today we topped off at 91 degrees. Unless you were along the Oregon coast, then it may have felt a little bit cooler because those temperatures were in the 70s, some in the 60s. I want to start us off with this beautiful photo coming out of the Oregon coast from Lisa Balick. Just capturing the most beautiful sunset right at that perfect moment right there. So I love this shot. Thanks. Again, uh, for sharing that, Lisa, of course. And if you have photos, please go ahead and send them on over. We'd love to uh, take a look at those. They really tell the weather story from time to time. 79 degrees was our normal highs. I mentioned we are in the lower 90s up and down the Willamette Valley, and it just gets warmer and warmer if you keep looking south. 66 for Newport, and as I mentioned, Astoria in the lower 70s today. Nearly 100 degrees out of the Dalles. And 95 for Pendleton. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some triple digits as we go through uh, the next five to seven days for some locations in central Oregon. Satellite and radar for tonight, some clouds along the Oregon coast. Those may be going in and out through the overnight hours. Maybe some patchy fog to start the day tomorrow. But overall, we're going to be looking at a clear sky just filled with a little bit of wildfire smoke. Let me tell you why. We have this high pressure right here to the south. This is eventually going to kind of shift down to the southeast. But notice on the west edge, that the wind starts to kind of pull in from the south. So as it does move down to the southeast here, that wind is going to generally be rolling out of the south. And that's going to transport that wildfire smoke from those wildfires down in California right in our direction. I'll show you right here on the smoke forecast. This is Wednesday night, so this is tonight. And again, this is the scale for the smoke. So the darker, uh, the heavier that smoke may be. And we have our little batch right here, but watch what happens as smoke starts moving in our direction as we go through our Thursday. You'll notice it to the south first, eventually probably filling in early on Friday, but I believe tomorrow we'll probably already start to notice that. May lead to a nice sunset with a little more color, but it may also mess with our air quality just a little bit at the surface. So current air quality is okay. We're in the green. But there's a couple locations where they're seeing maybe an unhealthy level and even up towards uh, areas of Washington where that wildfire is, it's at an unhealthy level there as well. Ridge of high pressure is going to kind of just stay here, just stay put. It's not going to move. Um, it's actually going to build a little bit and eventually it's going to bring some of that heat all the way up towards Alaska. Uh, this is on Monday for Labor Day. Notice we have this little clip of energy here that's trying to work on in, so we'll see what that ends up doing. All right, 60 degrees for our low tonight. That's been pretty close to where we've been the last couple of weeks for the exception of this cold fall-like morning on the 30th. Uh, we'll probably see lower 60s for the majority of the week because of how warm the afternoon has been. All right, there's that chance for a little bit of smoke on Friday. Notice no rain, though. We're probably going to be dry for the next seven to 10 days. 93 degrees on Sunday, 94 on Labor Day. So we did cool those temperatures down just slightly, but I still expect us to see some hot weather here for the next seven days, Jeff. Yeah, and remind our viewers, last September, how many 90 degree days did we have? Not one, we didn't see one. Yeah, yeah. so it's pretty rare to get this many 90s in September, still ahead.